Hello everyone! Sa video ito ay magtatanakay tayo ng mga sample problems in relation to stocks and bonds. At para sa ating unang problem, a certain financial institution declared a 4,200,000 dividend for the common stocks. If there are a total of 12,455 shares of common stock, how much is the dividend per share? Madali namang intindihin yung problem. Para makuha yung amount per share, i-divide yung dividend sa number of total shares. Tuloy-tuloy na tayo. Enumerate muna natin yung given. 4,200,000 the total dividend. 12,455 yung total shares. And what is asked? The dividend per share. To get the dividend per share, what we will do is we will divide them. So, the formula, dividend per share equals total dividend over total shares. The total dividend is 4,200,000. Ang total shares is 12,455. Pag dinivide yung dalawa, ang sagot ay 337 pesos and 21 centavos. Therefore, in the given problem, the dividend per share is 337 pesos and 21 centavos. At yan ang ang amount na yan ang marireceive ng bawat isang share ng 12,455. And assuming na meron kang 50 shares, so 337.21 times 50 meron kang total dividend na 16,860 pesos and 50 centavos. Proceed tayo sa ating problem number 2. A certain corporation declared a 3.75% dividend on stock with a par value of 600 pesos. Mr. Kapangan owns 250 shares of stock with a par value of 600 pesos. How much dividend will he receive? Enumerate na natin ang mga given. 3.75% or 0.0375% equals the dividend percentage. 600 pesos is the par value and 250 is the number of shares. What I ask on the given problem is the dividend of Mr. Kapangan. To get the dividend, the formula is the dividend percentage multiplied to par value and multiplied to the number of shares. Substitute na natin yung ating mga given sa formula. 0.3 75 is the dividend percentage par value is 500 pesos number of shares is 250 kapag pinagmultiply natin yung 0.0375 times 500 times 250 ang sagot ay 4,687.50 at yan ang amount na yan na 4,687 pesos and 50 centavos ang dividend ni Mr. Kapangan. Problem number 3. Corporation A with a current market value of 55 pesos gave a dividend of 7 pesos and 40 centavos per share for its common stock. Corporation B with a current market value of 110 pesos gave a dividend of 12 pesos and 50 centavos per share. Use a stock yield ratio to measure how much dividend stockholders are getting in relation to amount invested. Ang mga ganitong problem class ay makakatulong halimbawa gusto mong bumili ng stock at marami kang pagpipilian, gagamit ka ng stock yield ratio para mas mapili mo kung saan kakarapat dapat na bumili ng stocks. One at a time, focus muna tayo kay Corporation A given 7 pesos and 40 centavos ang dividend per share. Ang kanyang market value is 55 pesos. Ano ang hinahanap natin? Stock yield ratio. Ang, ang ating formula ng stock yield ratio is dividend per share divided by market value. Ang ating market per share is 7 pesos and 40 centavos. Ang ating market value is 55 pesos. Kapag dinivide natin ang dalawa, ang sagot ay 0.1345. Move tayo ng two places to the right. Ang ating stock yield ratio ay 13.45 pesos. Ay, sorry. Percent pala. Proceed na tayo kay Corporation B. Ang dividend per share is 12 pesos and 50 centavos. Ang market value is 110 pesos. Stock yield ratio ang hinahanap din. Ang ating formula pareho lang. 
ang ating dividend per share is 12 pesos and 50 centavos. Ang ating market value is 110 pesos. Pag dinivide ang dalawa, ang sagot is 0.1136. Move tayo ng two places to the right o kaya multiply tayo ng 100 to make it percent. Ang sagot is 11.36%. Compare the stock yield ratio for Corporation A, 13.45%, for Corporation B, 11.36%. Corporation A has the higher stock yield ratio than Corporation B, thus it is wiser to invest in Corporation A than Corporation B. Ang mga susunod na problems ay tungkol naman ito sa bonds. Problem number 4. Determine the amount of the semi-annual coupon for a bond with a face value of 450,000 that pays 11% payable semi-annually for its coupons. Para sa ating given, 450,000 pesos is the face value. Coupon rate is 10% or 0.1. At ang hinahanap sa problem is the amount of semi-annual coupon. Una natin gawin ay hanapin natin ang annual coupon amount which is 450,000 times 0 0.01 equals 45,000. Then yung 45,000 na annual coupon ay hahatiin natin sa dalawa kaya times tayo ng one half kasi nga semi-annual. So 45,000 times one half equals 22,500 at yung 22,500 yun na nga ang ating semi-annual coupon amount. Or kung ayaw mo ng 2 steps, pwede naman ang 1 step solution. So, ang semi-annual coupon amount equals face value times coupon rate times time. So, equals 45,000 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.5 equivalent to 1 half. So, pag pinag-multiply yung tatlo, ang sagot ay the same din, 22,500. Therefore, the amount of semi-annual coupon is 22,500. Problem number 5. Mr. Lopez owns 54 bonds with par value of 1,000 pesos and pays 7.5 interest. What annual income does Mr. Lopez get from these bonds? Again, given natin is 54 number of bonds, 7.5% or 0 0.75 is the rate, 1,000 is the par value. At ang hinahanap sa problem ay ang annual income ni Mr. Lopez. Una muna nating hanapin ay ang uh, total par value ng 54 bonds ni Mr. Lopez. So, 54 times 1,000. Si Mr. Lopez ay may total par value na 54,000. At ang formula ng ating annual income equals par value of bonds times rate times time. I-replace na natin yung mga given sa formula. Ang par value is 54,000. Ang rate is 0 0.075 and ang time natin ay 1 lang kasi annual income lang naman ang hinahanap. Then, i-multiply na natin yung 54,000 times 0 0.075 times 1. Ang sagot nga is 4,050 at yun na ang ating annual income. Therefore, the annual income of Mr. Lopez for his 54 bonds is 4,050 pesos. Dito na tayo sa number 6 and last problem in relation to bonds. Find the yield of 1,000 pesos with 9% ax bond price at 94 plus 10 commission. Ang ating given, 1,000, ang ating par value, 9% or 0 0.09 ang ating rate. At meron tayong additional income na 10 pesos commission. At ang hinahanap sa problem is the yield or the rate of income. Una natin nga hanapin ay ang annual income. I-multiply natin ang par value na 1,000 sa kanyang rate na 0.09 at sa time na 1. So pag pinag-multiply yung tatlo, equals 90. So, 90 pesos na nga ang annual income. Sunod ay hanapin din natin ang amount invested kasi silang dalawa ang i-divide upang makuha natin ang yield or rate of income. At para makompute ito, ia add natin ang market price at saka yung commission. 
Para makuha ang market price, multiply natin yung 0.94 times 1,000 plus 10 pesos commission. So, equals 940 pesos plus 10 pesos. So, ang amount invested natin ay 950 pesos. Lastly, isolve na natin ang yield or rate of income. I-divide natin yung annual income sa kanyang amount invested. Ang amount of income is 90 divided by amount invested which is 950. At i-divide na nga natin yung 90 divided by 950, ang sagot ay 0.947. Move tayo ng 2 places to the right o kaya multiply tayo ng 100, ang ating yield or rate of income is 9.47%. At muli guys, kung nakatulong sa iyo ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-like at mag-share. At kung may katanungan pa kayo at gusto pang linawin, gamitin ang chat box sa baba, mag-comment lang kayo, magtanong lang. At ito ay aking sasagutin.